Well, hello, it's Deacon Chris with another installment of my series on healing with scripture. Perhaps the ultimate installment. You know, for about 12 weeks now, I've been coming to you with these videos and hoping to outline for you a way to find comfort and healing words in the scriptures of our Holy Bible, in the readings we find at church, and, and finding ways to search for those answers and to search for that comfort when it's not always too evident. This coming week, Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday, begins Holy Week, culminating with Easter. And I think I would rather not put a video in front of you during that time, but I encourage you to read the readings of Passion Sunday, the events of leading to the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ, his burial, and his ultimate resurrection. We have Passion Sunday, we have Holy Thursday, which commemorates the Last Supper and Jesus serving others by, by setting an example by washing the feet of his disciples. Good Friday when he's tortured and put to death on the cross and, and ultimately buried. And then the feast of the resurrection of our Lord. You know, last time we talked about Lazarus being called back to life from death by Jesus. And I said, perhaps to some that's the ultimate healing, but it's not the ultimate healing. The ultimate healing has only a little bit to do with a physical coming back from death, and that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The ultimate healing was made possible by his death and resurrection, by his dying, by his sacrifice, and resurrection from the dead. He has freed us from the tyranny of sin and made it possible for us to experience the ultimate, the ultimate healing, a life of joy and happiness with our Heavenly Father, who cares so much for us. So I want to leave you with a couple of thoughts. One, words of comfort spoken through the prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, 11 through 14. Words of comfort from our Father God, who loves us very much. Well, I know the plans I have in mind for you, said the Lord. Plans for your welfare, not for woe. Plans to give you a future full of hope. When you go, go and call to me, I will hear you. When you go to pray to me, I will listen to you. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart, you will find me there with you. I hope you have a blessed Easter time. I hope you can follow up and read the readings, which I'm going to put links to below that go through Holy Week and to uh, the Feast of the Resurrection on Easter Sunday. And I want to leave you with these words from Jesus. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle of heart, and my yoke is easy and my burden light you will find rest for your souls. May God bless you and keep you.